Hey everyone. Um, you guys, you guys barely see me. <laughs> well, today is another day. What did I say? Another day, another dollar. I'll say another day, another donut. <laughs> I'm here in Montreal going to Bisco Coup. Bisco Coup is a Vietnamese place, inspired place. Also a bistro, so I don't know if it's very inspired by French cuisine, but we're definitely gonna try and check it out. Uh, I'm very hungry. I woke up early today, went to a boulangerie. Forgetting the boulangerie's name, I'm gonna put it in this video, but it was absolutely delicious. Uh, so now I'm like six to five minutes away to go to the bistro coup, and I'll see you guys once I'm there. Yeah, I'm really hungry. I'm really hungry. I'm actually woke up a bit tired. Man, I walked so much yesterday. It was kind of been nonstop. Uh, so I'm really excited to get some Vietnamese food. I love Vietnamese food. I love Thailand food as well. But Vietnamese, what they like today in Montreal, which is a little bit windy, a little bit cold, I think it would be the perfect time for us to actually enjoy a good bowl of pho. Um, so hopefully I can get some nice flow going with a bit of spring roll. You know, in Montreal there's a restaurant, man. It's it's crazy. I even saw a place in all in Montreal that's selling El Salvadoran food and also selling Pakistani food. And it's actually cool to see all the diverse cultures here in terms of food to get first food to get food to eat. So far so good in terms of eating indoor and outdoor in Montreal. I've been eating outdoor most of the time. Um, yesterday we went to La Banqui and La Banqui was delicious. I didn't take a photo of the food, unfortunately. But I gotta tell you that it's really delicious. And I can see straight ahead that the bistro is right in front of me. And I'm very excited to go and get some food. So everyone, we're here at Cou Bistro in Montreal, and I just already ordered myself a Vietnamese coffee, and I'm very excited to get one. I haven't had a Vietnamese coffee since I was in, actually in the Philippines. And it was okay. Um, it was still like very good, uh, very strong. But for people that don't know, Vietnamese coffee is made with condensed milk and very fine ground coffee. So I'm very excited to try it and to have some. So in terms of my entree and appetite, I'm definitely gonna get a soup because it is really cold right now. This yet me coffees I haven't yet to try yet. I'm very excited to try. Um, let me take you guys a photo of this thing. It looks amazing. Look at this. Perfect Vietnamese coffee. Perfect Vietnamese coffee. And I can't wait for you guys to see me just. It's good. It's strong. Thank you so much. Yeah, I will. Guys, look at this. My mango salad is finally here. Yes, Yesterday I ate a papaya salad and it was really good. But I think of all the salads that Vietnamese has had and Thai cuisine has, it's definitely mango. It's my definitely favorite one. I even had mango salad um, that was an Indian dish and that was pretty tasty. So let me show you guys the photo of this mango. And guys, look at this mango and it gave us a, a, a nice leafy green of mint. I love mint. 
One of the reasons why I love Thai and Vietnamese cuisine is the incorporation of herbs and mint. As you can see, there's there's a bunch of crisp. I'm not quite sure what these crisps are. There's a bunch of crisps here. I'm not sure what these crisps are, but this mango looks nice. I don't think it's too ripe, but I do think it's gonna be really good and delicious with this meal. Um, so let's go ahead and let me go ahead and have a bite. Hope you guys can see this bite, this mango. It's good. This mango sauce is really good. This is really good. It's nice, light, and refreshing. Mmm. 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 I love mangoes. Mangoes is actually one of my favorite fruits. And I'm eating while doing a video, so sorry guys. It's, it's, too, it's truly delicious. Wow. Yeah, well, guys, the foe is finally here, and I cannot wait. It smells so delicious. And... Guys, this is the bowl of pho that I'm about to have, and holy smokes. It looks really, really good. And you look at this piece of meat here. Wow. And some nice little herbs. The bottom here is some noodles. And look at these noodles right here. They're nice. I think those look with rice noodles. Then they also give us a little bit of carnage, a little bit of lime, a little bit of basil. This is basil or mint? I think this is, could be basil. Uh, I think this is turmeric. I think this, this could be a little bit chili. This is definitely chili. What is this turmeric? What is turmeric? I do I do know what know what this flavor is, but I forgot the name top of my head. But I'm definitely excited to try this dish. And let's go ahead and let's let's go ahead and try this. And look at this noodles. Mmm. It's good. It's chewy. Mmm. This is really good. This is what this is what I needed for the day. Let's put a little bit of. I like greens. I like leaves on, on my foe. Oh, leaf. Guys, this is really good. I'm very happy I went here. Uh, the vegetarian coffee was good. The mango salad was perfect. Like, perfectly ripe mangoes. Uh, but this is right here, it hits the spot, and this definitely worth the wait. Um, I was hoping to get out of here before 2 30 so that, so that they can get ready for the dinner rush, but said I'd be, you know, I suppose. But let's add a little bit of a uh, chili. I don't want to fuck up the spicing thing here, but. Let's, let's see if we can build upon this flavor broth. Broth is really good. Let it breathe. We want to let, let it build. Mmm. The beef. It's nice and chewy, and it's broth. Holy smoke, this broth is really good. I could bathe in this broth. I could bathe in it, like, like, like right here. You guys see this little pool right here? I can bathe in that pool right here. This looks really, really good. Like, wow. Mmm. Mmm. Well, good job, Cool Bistro. Really good job, food here.